Alright, welcome back to Painting Blood and Guts and Gore. I'm gonna finish this guy who I didn't finish last time. Yeah. So first we're going to take a red and white mix. Or pink. Just I'm gonna call it that. And apply it all over the wounded area. Or the organs, I should say, because <coughs> he looks rather dead to me. Okay, with our pink ready, you just apply it to the whole thing. Play what we call cheap D and D, a pink and blood, a pink and blood paint will settle this perfectly fine. But it's not what we're doing. So, with that done, we are ready to start picking out bits of the intestines, our intestines. First up, we're going to have spine somewhere. He's kind of hacked in two. Now I'm going to say this is the spine here, or what's left of it. I'm just going to give a little dollop of what was bone there. Uh, it's probably a rib cage right here. The corpse came from like a failed 3D print, so not too much definition here. That done, we're ready to move on to the next step, which will be blood for blood god. But we'll take a blood for blood god, real thick, and we just put it over to all the guts, all the guts and viscera. Not accurately enough, so we put in more. Another detail you can do is if you manage to get the stomach, take some Nurgle's rot, which I have right here conveniently, and just like dollop it in right there and start having it leak and, like tip the intestines with if you want another thing we like to do with our intestines is coat them in Nurgle's rot some sort of slimy sticky look And with that done, that concludes our Blood and Guts tutorial. Thank you for staying in for both parts. And God bless.